As a first time mum, I think there's a lot of great tips I picked up from YouTube, but there were some that I figured out on my own because once the baby's with you, it's a completely different ball game. So in this video, I'm gonna share some of those ideas with you and hopefully give you some great tips too. Leah is almost five months now, but you'll see clips from when she was zero to three months old too, so you know I'm not lying and I actually did use these things. So the first one we have is high contrast cards. A baby's vision is blurry when they're born and these actually help to develop your baby's eyes, develop their attention span and their brain overall. I remember when our little one was zero to three months and it felt like we couldn't do much with her. These flashcards, along with some others that I'll show you in a second, were such a perfect way to entertain her. I actually used to sit with her every morning and describe what was on these cards just to expose her to vocabulary from young. I wouldn't usually put them all out like that, maybe two or three at a time, but I just wanted to show you the range. These are really good for improving neck strength as well during tummy time. So these are the cards. They're from a company called Priya and Peanut. And as you can see, there are the three months plus ones that come in color. And those are the ones that we're using right now. They're the black and white ones that we used before. And then there's the number collection, there's color and shape, and then there's the alphabet as well. So those are cards that we'll be using probably for the next couple of years. So that's a really great addition to our collection. And I'll definitely recommend them to you as well. Speaking of tummy time, we called this our donut. I couldn't tell you why, because it looks nothing like one. But this tummy time pillow was really comfortable for our baby to be a little bit more raised during tummy time. And then she could look down at things in front of her as well to strengthen her neck even more. As she's gotten older, it looks like she's just using it as a climbing frame. So yeah, we're just gonna have to go with it for now. Okay, sensory boards are one of the main things that kept her entertained during tummy time. And they're basically just these standing boards that have shapes and mirrors and pictures and other sensory things on them. Tummy time is important for babies, but I know that some people find it difficult because their baby just might not enjoy being on their tummy. So hopefully this will help to distract them and develop them at the same time. There are lots of different types and we started off with black and white ones. But as our daughter's actually four and a half months now, we have a lot of colorful ones and more interactive ones. So yeah, just like the one that you can see there. So yeah, we've really been enjoying these and I think they're definitely a must have. So in all honesty, our baby didn't actually like this in the beginning because she always wanted to be carried. But as she reached closer to three months and she was able to grab things, she started to enjoy it a little bit more. And it has three levels as well. So you can raise it up when they get older or have it lower down. So it's closer to a laying position. I don't really think it's important to have this exact item, but I generally think somewhere where you can put your baby down, even if it's just to go to the toilet quickly, really helps. I know a lot of people's babies love swings and rockers. Ours just hated everything. So I'm not gonna sit here lying to you and telling you that this is the best thing in the world, but hopefully it's just an idea for you to find what's right for you and your baby. I just wanted to throw this one in here. I wasn't actually going to, but because I was talking about just having somewhere to put your baby for a second, this was the only thing that kept our baby entertained independently for longer than about 10 minutes. And it's called the Love Every Play Gym. There are different sensory activities around the mat and one of them was crinkly. So we always put her feet right where you can see them now um, to encourage her to like kick and make that noise and she just loved it. So this was and still is a must have for us. There's also a feature so you can see up there you can put the high contrast cards on top of the play gym so she would just stare up at that for ages so finally i just wanted to quickly mention board books she's about five days old in this clip and it really taught her from a young age to pay attention board books are in particular an absolute must-have for babies because everything is going to end up in their mouths eventually so it's best to get sturdy books that are not easy to rip or to get soggy even now, she'll always sit and listen to a story, even though most books end up as chew toys at the moment, but as long as she's being exposed to books and all the vocabulary in there, I'm quite happy. On the screen now are my last two videos where I did the best board books for babies and even the best way to read to a baby. So definitely go and check those out. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.